barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button if i get one more message on this on this 50 cent verse Floyd, man man it needs to stop i'm, I'm just gonna be candidly honest i'm you know at the end of the day i don't i'm not one one for the gossip shit um i just use it to gain subscribers a lot of the times i keep it real with you guys because i know it's a uh it's a more, it stretches outside of boxing, so I, I may do a video on it. I'm going to keep it real with you guys because I know it's going to uh, subsidize my boxing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'll talk about it. But put yourselves in these. The easiest way to figure out, put you and your best friend in this situation. And I'm not saying Floyd and 50 were best friends because by the look of it, they were basically... Um, not friends, you know, for the most part. And uh, but put you and your you and your best friend in Floyd's in fifties position. Now are you cringing? <laughs> there are certain things that that you never discuss. There are certain things that you don't bring to public. Um, um, I, you know, F Floyd. Kept his foot on the gas. I believe Floyd posted three or four posts about herpes. What else? Um, about his son. Uh, about him being a rat. Stuff like that. He was going to pay people, uh, nine people, $1,000. And then 50 came in with a... Uh, I mean, see, 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 what's not being understood is the collateral damage. He brought in two deceased families that, you know, they're going to wake up tomorrow morning to read this and have to mourn their deceased family member again. Um, um, P. Rill is, is, is pretty close to Floyd, and uh, he, he opened up something. I, I don't know if these, these are just allegations. I don't know if they're true or not, but if they're true, like, now the world knows. That's embarrassing. Y you know, it's... Uh, it's going to a place where they got to go see each other. And and I don't know. They both have, have access to private jets. They both have access to whatever they need to go see each other. Um, why don't they just do that? And I urge that this stops. Because, you know, it, if you look at it from a superficial perspective, Floyd is worth a billion dollars. 50 cent. Is a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Why are they beefing? You know, and, and and what's so unique about this? Unique, not in a positive way. Like I'm gloating about it, but the irony about this is, this is our culture's quote unquote elite. If our elite acts like acts like this than what they going to think of everyone else below, because everyone's below Floyd, right? There's only two people. I just saw Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan that are equal to Floyd Mayweather. So we're all under Floyd Mayweather's umbrella. So uh, if our elite are going to act like this and bring private situations up, bring private situations to public that's supposed to remain private to death do you part, What is the rest of the world going to think about us and our culture? Our culture meaning black culture and our culture meaning the hip-hop, urban, contemporary culture. You understand? And uh, somebody step in. Please, somebody step in. Take their phones. You understand? Uh, have them call one another because I don't know what can go. I don't know where it can go next. Um, they know. I mean, they hung around each other for years. We saw it. They know what the hell is going on with each other. They have mutual friends. Um, and we know um, 50 has no regard for anyone. We saw what he did to Young Buck. We saw what he did with him, the beef with him and Game. You know, Ja Rule, who else? Rick Ross. Uh, little spat with Kanye. You know, he'll do anything. To get an upper hand on someone. There's nothing to. 
there's nothing off limits or too low for 50 cent and and with that being said you don't want to be around a person like that <laughs> let alone trust them with anything that you that value you know i wouldn't i haven't you know i have no desire to be around 50 cent i'm going to interview him now now i i i didn't contradict myself i want to interview him and talk to him about like this is just some weak shit man especially see now in my head get rich or die trying doesn't come to my head my initial in the club is not my first initial reaction of him. my first thought of 50 cent is deontay wilder now my second thought will be either be Floyd or get rich or die trying, you know. I don't know if it's going to be Floyd or get rich or die trying, but when I think of 50 Cent, just the overall persona of 50 Cent, I don't think of hip-hop mogul, uh, executive producer, extraordinaire. I think of a gossip column. I think of a man that's uh, diminishing himself. People are going to put in the comment section, like, I want more and this and that. But truly, do you? No woman respects a man that has a loose tongue. Because it's supposed to be a part of our strength DNA. It's supposed to be encoded in us, right, to be strong, to lead. 50 Cent is exuding none of this. You know, uh, I wouldn't want to be led by a man like 50 Cent. You know, I... Uh, you know, it's just disheartening that these guys is the same hue as me, you know, and uh, I don't know where this, I don't know where this is going. I have no idea where this is going, but we all heard the Young Buck conversation. So 50 has no, and, and that's the scary part about it. He's acting like he has nothing to lose. He's walking around this, this big, rich town like he has nothing to lose, man. You know what I mean? He's walking around like, like he's starving. He's in the 1% of... He's in the 1% of American wealth. He's in the 1% of American wealth. 1%, man. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather <laughs> is in the point zero 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 one percent of America's wealth, you know, and uh, man, I, I just want this to stop. I really do. I don't want no more tweets. I'm mean, excuse me, no more Instagram posts. I'm not waiting for a response. I'm not waiting because the collateral damage is getting too severe now. You got P. Rilla. You got if all these are true allegations. You got P. Rilla. His ex-girlfriend, you have Floyd, uh, 50 Cent's kids, you have the, the, two, the two people that were deceased, um, you have his son, you have Floyd's son, you have Floyd, I mean, his, you have 50 Cent's ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, Daphne Joy, like how severe do you want this to get? The point has been made, you guys don't like each other. 50 Cent, you claim you from the streets, right? I mean... This is literally Twitter fingers. Like, he literally has Twitter fingers, you know, because he's supposed to be a gangster from the streets. He, he survived nine shots, right? He survived Queens, right? Queens from Queens. He's, he survived Queens. He survived the mean streets of Queens. And yet, he's on Instagram and Twitter and whatever. He has become a social media blog site. And I understand he, 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 uses, he uses other people's pain to build his profile. But enough is enough. Rehashing people who committed, I mean, murder, suicide, you know, that's a, I, don't, I wouldn't want to bring that up. I, I, I literally wouldn't. And uh, we'll see, man. I, uh, I don't know where this is going, but I suspect by, the, by when I wake up and what is it? It's 117 right now in L.A. I suspect when I wake up, before I don't sleep, <laughs> I suspect when I wake up, Floyd is going to post something really, really disrespectful about 50 Cent. And it's just going to keep on going. I don't know where and when it's going to stop. But uh, somebody call somebody. Somebody text somebody. Somebody Instagram somebody. 
I'm not sipping my tea waiting on wait. I'm I'm literally not sipping my tea waiting for something to happen. I'm not. I'm not. You see how long it took me to respond to this? I'm not waiting around. And you know, I, I got so many DMs and I work for y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So anyways, man, that, that, that's what I believe. Hopefully, uh, hopefully common sense prevails now. We call each other. Please just call each other. Go to 50 Cent, fly out to, fly out to Floyd Mayweather's gym and y'all fight. You know what I mean? Barbershop conversations, man. Uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. It's getting too severe. The collateral damage is, it, it, is too real. It, 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 it's too real. It, it, it's too much, man. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.